archaeology. Exciting or rather dry, perhaps? Well, it is exciting when you find things, but uh, when you start off, you're in a big field, and um, you have to dig things up, and it's, it's a little slow. It's the careful archaeology approach. I'd like to introduce you now to the archaeologists, who are the professionals. This is Professor Roberta Gilchrist. Is that correct? Okay. Oh, absolutely right. Hi. Nice to meet you. And the team. We've already taken the turf off to give that sort of head start, because turf is boring, yeah? Nothing in turf. You've never had any kind of big swords lying around in turf ever, so... Because big swords is really what everyone wants to find. Big sword in a stone, and a, and a bloke called Arthur with a name tag on his shirt or something. <laughs> <laughs> there and, and, oh, I couldn't get it out. Have you ever found a big sword? A big sword? Yeah. No. Down here we have a grid marked out, which is the grid that goes over interesting things. Yes, it is. It's, this is a careful approach. Four hours are starting now. Start at the clock. I'll see you in a bit. OK, so that is um, the more careful approach. And uh, now I can take you through to my approach to a thing I'm calling speed archaeology. We have the JCDs. We're going to try and attack a larger piece of ground as we can here, OK? You can just go in there, because they've only got four by four metres. We're just going to attack, see what we can find. Acceptable losses. You know, like we're talking in military terms, you can have acceptable losses. It doesn't really matter. But we've only got half an hour to do this in. They've already started. They've got four hours. So you've got three and a half hours for tea, coffee, and, uh, and massage, and whatever the hell you want. All right? <laughs> OK? In comparison with this darker soil here, you've got a few bits of charcoal in this. And what we're trying to work out now is whether this is an archaeological feature. Uh, we'll find something. We're bound to find something. But I want to find a sword. So if anyone sees anything glinting and looks like a sword, then um, that'd be great, because uh, it's obviously King Arthur's. <laughs> So, so what are you, more, more the pottery end of the thing? Or I'm more nuns eating? than monks, actually. You know. Nuns. So if you're, if you're digging in your back garden and you find different coloured uh, stuff under there, you've probably got a nun <laughs> somewhere around there. <laughs> OK, start engines! Right. the smell of earth in the morning. See, speed archaeology turns up trumps very quickly. We've got a, obviously, ancient uh, early Iron Age symbol of a fish and a great big long thing. <laughs> Three hours, 55 minutes, five minutes to go, and we've, we've got some findings. Okay. Here, we've found uh, some stuff. Okay, wrong set which... here, Eddie. Okay, uh, anytime you want, Terry. What exactly? Uh, a bit of uh, speed archaeology happening there behind us. Um, now we've got bits of pottery, we've got a little bit of plastic, could be an arrowhead, but we're going to go and check what we've got in the speed archaeological terms. We'll come back and have a look at that later. Thanks. Okay, so probably acceptable losses here. We've lost a few things. So we've got rubble, we've got stuff, we've got a bit of brick. We've got a what? Yeah, we've got a white sword. This could, be a co this could be a coffin, this could be... This, it's, it's huge. Has anyone... Have we got a sort of pickaxe or a drill? Or... This is huge. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. 
by civilization. <laughs> I'll see what's down here. It, it's a huge cavern. Could be Egyptian. It's found a huge cavern. <laughs> supposed to have a sword in here? It's supposed to be a sword with a D? <laughs> Speed archaeology. The way of the future. In only half an hour, I have found the car park of the gods. <laughs> Speed archaeology. This is what we actually would have found if I'd planted it in that dustbin, right? But you can. Swords, is, that's all you really want to find, isn't it? And you know, uh, Highlander, Highlander's a big success because there, uh, there could be only one, there could be only one, there can be only one, and there's all that head chopping off. And if you've seen the TV series, there's, there can be only about 47,000. <laughs> there's one every bloody week. That's slightly more than one. There could be only a ton of them. Yeah. So anyway, that's my sword. Now, 